Morning guys, what's up? I hope you're having a good day. Today me and Sarah are going to go out and do a few little things. We have some errands to run, we need to go shopping and do some stuff. So I thought, what better time than to take out the freshly washed XR6 out on the streets. Uh, one thing I did notice though, is that my tire at the back here has been deflating like crazy. And I don't know why. So I'm going to go hopefully maybe sort that out today. Another thing I really want to do today is I want to try and find an exhaust for the R33. So I messaged a few people on Facebook and I'm just waiting for a few to get back to me. So uh, I'll see if I can sort out something today. If not, we'll probably just get a muffler and just see if we can weld it in for the time being. But it just yeah, it sounds terrible, that stupid car. So, um, so yeah. Today, we're gonna head up, go do some shopping, and uh, go get some stickers, because you guys have been absolutely smashing orders recently, which I'm so happy about, so thank you so much. Um, yeah, let's jump in the car, and let's head off. Sarah's car definitely needs a wash, too. That is just disgusting. <laughs> How do you let your car get like this? Because you don't wash it. Because I don't... <laughs> All right, so I put in 40 PSI into the tire yesterday at the servo just down the road. And I just went to the server just again with Sarah, and we decided that was probably the best. It went in a 16 psi over day, over the day. So um, I'm going to take it to Tire Power at North Lakes. Uh, I know a good mate there who's uh, more than willing to help me out today, which is awesome. So now I have Sarah behind me, who's currently just cruising in a little Toyota Corolla, the annoying reliable thing. Yeah, we're going to go get this tire sorted, and then hopefully we should be good and don't forget another tire because I couldn't actually find anything that was in it. So uh, hopefully we get that sorted. Seems to be a fairly slow leak, so I just put 40 psi back in it, and uh, now we are heading back to tire power. So, yes, fingers crossed we make it there. I mean, we'll be fine, we'll definitely make it there. Alright, yeah, so now I'm gonna leave my car and uh, hopefully we can get that tire sorted soon. Right, yeah, so I just left the Falcon with the guys at tire power. They are absolute legends, and uh, if you guys are in the North Lakes area, cheapest I've been able to find for tires and all that sort of stuff. They are absolute legends and thanks Sarah by the way. Copyright. Yeah, um, yeah, they're absolute legends. So yeah, and cheers Marcus if you guys go there. Yell out for Marcus. Tell him I sent you and uh, yeah, he'll sort you out. He's a legend. Anyway guys, now we're gonna go pick up some stickers. You guys put so many Ford Mafia stickers in. I had like hundreds of them and I'm completely sold out. So um, yeah, we're gonna go get some more of them. So we're just around the corner from Brett's shop, which is Empire Tint and Vinyl. Oh and, right what's that? Where, where am I going? Yeah, just up here. Just up here on your oh, right. Yes. I still can't believe you put Jean's car up there and not mine. So disappointed so in Brett. Rude. Brett. How look at that. Who would who would advertise their shop with a bloody with jeans bloody falcon there? I was gonna call back from Tire Power. As it turns out, another one of my rotor grids are cracked, hence why it's leaking again. Lucky I got that spare set of uh, lucky I got that spare set of 17s there, so I'll be able to chuck them on. But even still then, that's so annoying. So I'm gonna have to go and get that one rewelded again. Just super super annoying. I think it's the same one that's literally being repaired twice. But I think I might get rid of those rims. They're uh, they're annoying me and they keep cracking all the time. So yeah, whatever. I don't really mind. Rightio, so Marcus from Tire Power said it is leaking pretty badly and even still then it looks like it's back down to where it was this morning at around about 16 psi. So I don't really want to wreck the tire. These tires are still good. They've got 10,000 Ks in them and they've still got heaps of tread left. So I'm not going to waste my money and time and run on these while they're still good. Um, I'm going to put a different set of rims on it. Now one option was to actually get Lep Labs and Ong San Performance to literally just JB weld that little bit up, which I would probably do to be honest, but I'd rather just get it done, you know, first up. Now I have a lot of blokes that'll be able to fix it up for me, so that's no worries at all. So I think I might just run a different set of rims instead of just dodgy up with JB Weld. Now if you guys remember, I do have this set of 17s right here, which I'm thinking about possibly mounting up to the car. The only thing I have an issue with is the fact that these are a 225 tire. Um, which is very small for the car. They are a 17 by 9 and they do have good tyres. And I actually need to put these tyres here on the front of the Skyline simply because uh, the two 6.5s that I'm currently running on the front of the Skyline are scrubbing and it's actually destroying the tyre. So I'm going to have to put a set of these rims on here and I want to make sure that I have a full set of rims on there because if you run 17s on the back or 18s on the back and 19s on the front, it starts coming up with speed errors and stuff like that and I really don't want to have to deal with that, especially driving to Lep Labs. Now I also have these set of Hustlers down here, but once again, they are 17s and I only have three of them at the moment because I still haven't got my other one from Jake. And also, they're a little bit... Uh, yeah, they're not good, so we're not going to be running that. So what else do I have? Oh, hello Workomotion Wheels. Hello, do you want to be on my car? Awesome. All right, let's put you on. 
So uh, if you guys remember when I first picked up the R33, uh, one of the wheels was completely flat and I had to put a different wheel on so I could get it back up the coast. Now, Jake actually gave me this set of wheels right here to fix up and I haven't exactly done it yet. So this would be give me a great opportunity to fix them up as well. But I am gonna have to run them on the car for a couple of days. They still got great tires all around, which is sick. And it'll be a pretty interesting look on the car, I reckon. Um, yeah. Right, so because I haven't been used in a while, I'm going to clean up all these sides here and uh, basically just get all that horrible stuff off. Yeah, we'll fit them straight up to the Falcon. These actually look really good. I really like the color of these. Kind of like a semi-gloss hyper bronze. I quite like it actually, but um, yeah, I've never been a massive fan on like big dish wheels like this sort of thing here. But um, I don't know, I kind of like the, the two-step dish, but I'm not quite sure yet. I don't know, I guess I'll try them on and see how they go. If you guys are wondering what wheel cleaner I use, it's actually called Purge and you get it off the CarPro website. This product right here has literally been the go-to for me in all of my cars that I have detailing. Absolutely love it. I swear by it. It's incredible. If you guys can see, basically it's like a deionizer where it just, all the iron it kind of finds, it just strips it off and turns it purple cleans up everything and actually strips off a lot of dirt as well. It's really cool stuff. I absolutely love it. I find it so funny that I've been joking around for so long to literally actually put legit wheels in my car and not replica wheels. It's actually quite funny. These are like a full set of worker motion wheels. I don't even know what exact model they are, but I'm a little bit sort of, I really like this style here because it has a really nice concave finish and a, a two-step barrel. Whereas this one here, it's like, a, like an outwards concave and it just has a flat barrel, which is like, I'm so confused. I'm wondering if these are two like completely different styles of wheel that work makes and they've just sort of got that and put it on because I really really like these rims, but I do not like these at all, but uh, I don't know <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> it's so weird and I'm having a little bit of an issue at the moment as well because I know that these I know that these rims here have a really low offset. They have barely any room at the back Whereas these rims here Normally with the sort of face that they have like normally you'd be putting like really nice concave wheels in the back and then having the front really flat. These rooms here actually have a, a lower offset. They have a outwards facing face thing. I just, I, I'm so confused. So I don't even know, both the tyres are two four fives, and I'm not quite sure exactly which ones go on the front. I'm, I'm thinking that these ones here with the dish go there, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not, <laughs> I'm honestly not quite sure. Man, I never really liked gold little bronze wheels. I mean, like, they do look sick. I don't really know about the fronts, uh, especially with their outwards concave sort of thing, but these look sick. Like, they actually look pretty dope. I love the back, but I'm still not sold on the front. Like, if it was like these all around, it'd look sick. But I think the reason that, uh, that Jake had them on his old car was because they had Brembo fronts. But even still then, like, that looks pretty sick. The offsets on them though, they're fairly weak. They're not as, they're not anywhere near as aggressive as mine. You guys can see there's like a whole heap of room up here. But I know that the F6 that these were on originally had bags on it. So obviously you couldn't have it literally sitting on the actual, uh, on the guard pretty much. On the back though, they're looking pretty flush. They're probably about five mil less aggressive than my other rims. But I also remember that this is running about two and a half to three degrees of negative camber too, so. It's pretty sick though. Rightio, so I'm keen to see just how this one here failed. Like, uh, 
Looks like, because I've had two repairs in this wheel already. Like the rest of these rims have had none. This one here's had two. So it's on the, he said it was actually on a crack that it's already previously been repaired. Ah, okay. You guys won't be able to see it, but it's actually cracked through the original, just on the side of that one there. Wow, there you go. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see, but it's cracked all the way through the original repair. There you go. That's mental. It's so funny though, because the rest of these rims have literally been perfect. It's just like, these ones must have been made on a Tuesday. This one here was made on a Friday afternoon. You know, <laughs> it's something, it could be something so stupid. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I guess that's what you get for running some uh, some cheap, um, cheap TE. I mean, like, they're still one of my favorite wheels and I absolutely love the look of them and I haven't been able to find a wheel that like, unless I got TEs, I wouldn't be happy <laughs> with any other rim. But uh, yeah, damn, that sucks. I mean, like, I'm not digging the look, but I mean, the back I am. These back rims are sick, and I love them. Like, they look great. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you reckon? You dig it better than the grids? I mean, they are legit wheels, but just styling-wise. Rightio, so over the next, I dare say, probably about three or four days, I think I'm actually going to go up to Leprechaun Laboratory or Onsong Performance and actually stay up there. It's such a long drive. It's like a, at least a, at least a three and a half hour round trip every single day. And it's so expensive with fuel at the moment, it's crazy. So I honestly think I'm going to do pretty much like what I did on the road trip. Uh, if you guys remember like ages ago, we slept in the back of the car. So um, I think that's what we're going to do. And that's one of the reasons why I basically put all these wheels on today. Because I know for the next couple of days, this, uh, this back seat right here is going to be my home. So, uh, you know, it's actually really nice and comfortable in there. But um, yeah, it's going to be a really cool sort of experience working on the R33 every single day. Editing there and then uh, sleeping in the back of the car and having to drive into town so I can go upload my video. But um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine with that. Also, the sump's all finished and painted up. So we're going to be chucking this back in the car. It's going to be sweet. Not going to lie, the color of the wheel and the sun with this paintwork actually looks really freaking sick. Ugh, why do things have to do things to me? I kind of want these wheels now, not these ones. These are stupid. I want these ones. They look sick. On another note though, these tires are so bloody good. I got them just before my, uh, my road trip down in December and we did 6,000 Ks on the road trip and then since then I've done another 4,000 Ks on my car and they honestly look brand new. They have so much tread left. Now, don't get me wrong, these are a very, very, very hard tire. These are called, um, I believe they're called Durons. Got them for a hundred bucks each. They have absolutely no signs of bubbling, no signs of anything apart from just wearing evenly, and they still have so much tread. I'm really hoping I might be able to get like 40,000 Ks out of these or 50,000 Ks, like a, like a regular car. It'd be so much nicer. These tires are great, and it's the only tires that I can actually spin. Which is quite funny. Everyone reckons that 440 horsepower Falcons, everyone tells you that all they do is spin. Mine just hooks. It's annoying. Whether Gene did something interesting with the suspension or whether I just can't drive or it's severely underpowered. Yeah, these are the only tires that I can spin. <laughs> it's so stupid. I think if I was to go these wheels in hyper black, less aggressive with two six fives, they would look friggin' insane on this car. I don't know, it's just a thought. Maybe one day I might do it. And I'd, I'd rather just get T's. I like T's. T's are nice. Rotor grids are nice. Rotor grids are better than T's. T -E copy rotor grid. So it's about time <laughs> that Sarah finally washed her bloody car. Thing looks atrocious at the moment. You should see a driver's door. So bad. Ugh. And she's still got a dealership number there too. Ugh. I don't even have a razor to get that off too. That dealership number. Oh, that's awesome. It's so bad. It's not part of the... It's Oh, this car's so gross. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon we should put the uh, the white 17s on it? I wonder if they have the same stud pattern. Who knows in the comments? Did Toyota Corollas have a 114.3 by 5? That'd be sick. What's that? I'm sure it will. Toyota and Ford always had the same stud pattern, didn't they? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should we put the 17s up? I reckon that'd be sick.
Radio. Oh, you guys can't even see me at all. Um, I'm with. Oh, okay. I'm a bit zoomed in. Oh, cheers, man. No worries. Radio. So we are heading up the coast of Burbengarry. I'm here with Max at the moment. A lot of you guys have been asking whether Max even lives with me. Uh, no, he doesn't. He just likes to sleep downstairs, and I don't know how to get rid of him. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. He that's moved it. all of his stuff in, and he's not even paying rent. <laughs> no, of course Max lives with me. It's it's no, of course he does. Um, yeah, that's why you guys see him in his videos, and that's why his car is parked in the garage. Um, but yeah, one of you guys actually reached out to me and said... Uh, well, I actually, I messaged them on Marketplace, and uh, he's like, oh my god, I can't believe I got a message from you, which is so cool. So yeah, thanks very much for watching my videos, man. So he's going to give me a sick deal on an exhaust. So we're going to head up to Burp and Gary right now, and go get it. Right here, guys, so we are back from picking up the exhaust, and actually, the guy that I went and met, he was such a nice bloke, and he actually had a few other parts up there. So if you guys, I probably won't be able to see in the back there, but I've also got a couple of brake rotors there too. And if you guys remember when we are doing the handbrake installation, um, I had some issues with the handbrake shoes, the D1 spec project new pads, um, gripping up to the actual brake drum itself. So I'm going to see how they go. I'm going to clean them up like crazy and then throw them on. Plus they're also slotted as well, which is awesome. So I'm going to be able to use them. And, um, yeah, it's awesome. Now, I got this exhaust right here. It's a, I believe it's a three inch stainless Momo exhaust. Um, but I'm not actually quite sure. He said it was a mix between a lot of sort of different things. Um, it looks great, which is awesome. It has all the hangers and all the welds look great. I got it really cheap. I got it decently cheap from the bloke because he's such a legend. And um, it has, it's got mufflers. It's got mufflers. So it's not gonna be straight piped gonna be so good. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it was all over the place, but I'm glad we got everything sorted and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.